Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm Jason Sample, Marketing and Communications Coordinator for the Chautauqua County Industrial Development Agency and the Partnership for Economic Growth. And this is uh, Monica Simpson. Monica? Hi, I'm Monica Simpson, the Partner Engagement Coordinator for the Chautauqua County Partnership for Economic Growth. And uh, we're here today to unveil LiveCHQ. You've probably heard the buzz already about it. I know we've worked closely with a lot of you on this campaign already, but this is sort of the, the rollout, the official launch of LiveCHQ. It's going to be a multi-year marketing effort to promote Chautauqua County, not just as a great place to visit, but also a great place to live. And so that's kind of what we want to drive the point home here. And also uh, share with you how you can help make this campaign a success. Um, you know, what we'll be doing throughout the next three years is only one small part of the overall campaign. We really want our partners and stakeholders to latch on. We'll give you the full presentation here in just a moment. Uh, joining me, of course, is going to be uh, Mark Geis, who is along with us here. Uh, before we get to the presentation, though, of who's going to be speaking, I want to let you know that this is made possible through a wide variety of partners. And there's way too many to list, but the, the key... Uh, folks involved with this and organizations is obviously the CCIDA and the Partnership for Economic Growth, along with the Chautauqua County Visitors Bureau, as well as Chautauqua County Government, and also Black Club and Clever Method, which are the two contract agencies we worked with to develop this campaign. So I wanted to point that out as well. Uh, but we're going to do a presentation here. All of us will take a turn at providing details. We're going to give the backstory of the impetus behind the campaign. Uh, that will be offered by Mark Geis, who is CCIDA CEO and the co-chair of the advisory board for Chautauqua County Partnership for Economic Growth. We also will have Nate Aldrich up here. Nate's going to sort of talk about the beginning phases of the campaign, how we really were able to raise funding for it and develop the campaign. That'll be uh, followed by yours truly. I'll be up here to walk you through the campaign, the different assets that we have available for you to utilize and leverage for your own use. And then we'll also have Monica here who will talk more specifically about ways that our partners and stakeholders will be able to help us out. So this will be hopefully a worthwhile presentation, very informative, and you all will walk away to, uh, to understand how you can help make LiveCHQ a success. Uh, Monica, anything to add? That's it. Well, with that being said, let's, uh, well, we do have a closing remarks, last but not least, our county executive, Oops. Paul Wendell. Sorry about that, PJ, I almost left him out, but he'll be up here as well to talk about the campaign uh, and the importance of utilizing it at the tail end of our presentation. So with that being said, we're going to bring uh, Mark up here. Mark? So I've been told I have seven minutes, and so um, I told him to start coughing a lot if I I take too long, so I'm going to do my best. And, you know, I, I really wanted to uh, sort of set the context for, for why we're doing this. Um, and I think there's, you know, two overarching reasons why we're doing this. But uh, certainly, um, you know, um, I'll talk about those. But before I do that, I wanted to thank, um, you know, Jason and all his work and Monica and uh, Nate, of course, uh, Block Club, our consultant, um, County Executive Wendell. Um, there's a talent attraction committee that's been meeting. We've been working on this well over a year. It's a big lift. Um, you don't really realize that until you get into it. So wanted to thank everybody for that. Um, so why? Why are we doing this? Two overarching reasons. One is population decline. I know you can't see this map, um, but this is uh, color coded so that you can see when we peaked in population um, each, of the, uh, each of the counties. Um, Hold on. Right there. There we go. So um, you can see Chautauqua County. Oh, I have a right there. Yeah. Right? Um, we peaked in 1970. But you can see that we're not really alone um, with the counties around us um, in the 70s, 80s, 90s. Ever since then, we've had a population decline. Well, you know, what do we do about it? Um, and it's, it's not, it's not a, you know, one size fits all. It's not a panacea. It's not a silver bullet. There's a lot of things we need to do, but this is certainly one thing uh, that we, we know uh, we need to do, and that is tell the story about what a great place this is to live, work, and play, and conduct business. Um, the other overarching reason is, okay, do I need to put, be pointing here? Um, you know, we have, and, and I, I tell this story all the time, uh, I go to anywhere from, you know, one business a week to five. And 
um, inevitably, when we ask them, what is your number one challenge as a business, what do you think their response is? Finding people to fill open positions. And that can be skilled or unskilled positions. We want people, we need people that will show up, have a good attitude, um, and get along with others, right? Um, so we know that we have a lot of job openings. You can see the, the unemployment rate here. I thought this was sort of interesting because it, it, sort, of, um, it sort of averages out to 35 to 4% um, over time, but you can see how it, 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 it rises and falls uh, depending on the season. You know, we do have a season, seasonal um, uh, population uh, here, or um, uh, uh, economic sector here, so you can sort of see that, but you know, we, we don't have a high unemployment rate. We have three and a half to four percent on average, um, which sort of speaks to the fact that we um, we don't have a lot of extra people sitting around not working. Um, so we need more people um, uh, to fill those open positions. We um, we engaged. Um, okay. And I, I've got a graphic in a little bit here, but nine, um, in two. 2019, we engaged, actually Katie and I went to um, um, uh, uh, an event at Invest Buffalo Niagara at Hotel Henry, and we saw DCI um, give a presentation about the, the worker shortage across the country. Patience Fairbrother spoke, um, and we were so taken by what she had to say, we went up and talked to her, and then we brought her here to the county in 2019 to talk about the issue. They're a talent attraction uh, consultant and um, they, they had a lot of good ideas which sort of kick-started us um, on this effort. But you can see some of the headlines and some of the major publications that, you know, this is not a problem that's unique to us. Um, so it's more, it's not just about, and I, I would say with my generation, it was probably more about you know, what's my salary going to be and what are my benefits going to be? Um, and that was sort of the, the number one by far uh, attractor uh, to a job. And it, it, I would say it's not that way anymore. I think, um, you know, we, the cost of living, um, and this, this is the top factors that uh, DCI did a survey of, of, of young adults and, and asked them, what, what are your major factors for, you know, locating for a job? And they said, you know, cost of living was a big one. And, a welcoming and friendly local population, um, altern alternative job opportunities in your new like location. In other words, they don't just want to take a job and that's where they're stuck. There's other jobs available throughout. Outdoor recreation opportunities. Those are so, sort of some of the key themes um, that our campaign is focused on. Um, so this 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 campaign is really telling a story about our county, about all the things there are to do, what a low cost of living is. Uh, there is here, what, you know, um, all the outdoor uh, amenities. And I, I won't get into all that, but um, you, you'll see as we go on here. Um, I just wanted to give a timeline sort of of how this all started. In 2019, we printed, we developed and printed 13,000 copies of a relocation guide, and we distributed those to all the, the businesses. They were very useful as they were trying to attract people to be able to, you know, hand that off and also have a link on the website to that, um, and we, we're, actually, we're actually redoing that, or updating it, and we're gonna uh, do the same thing. Uh, we engaged DCI, I already talked about that in 2019. In 2020, um, we had some initial conversations. I think Nate and I went down to, went to Buffalo, and, and we met with them, and we talked through, because they, they, they worked with Invest Buffalo Niagara, and they worked with a lot of local communities. Um, that's what they do, talent attraction um, campaigns. Um, and then in 2022, um, uh, we created a marketing, uh, dedicated marketing and communications position within the IDA, and this was one of the big things that we, um, we tasked them with. Um, and uh, we secured the funding um, through the partnership and through the IDA sort of splitting the cost, and that money came from a combination of the IDA, um, ARPA funds from the county, um, and foundation funds, um, and so that, that's sort of how we um, are funding this. Uh, we did an RFP, uh, we interviewed the firms, um, we launched the Selective Block Club and we, and we launched the uh, campaign. 
Um, and then um, we also, I wanted to mention that um, we also hired um, a company, Clever Method, to redo our, our website. Um, our website at the IDA was, was outdated, it was clunky, it was not usable, it wasn't user friendly. And so we've totally revamped our, our website to sort of, um, you know, correspond to this live CHQ and choose CHQ, which I, I won't get into um, exactly uh, what those are at this point because um, my colleagues will. Um, so they'll be discussing the overarching goals um, that, we all, that we all developed, including the, the county executive and, and Jason and Nate and Monica and many others. Um, and I want to reiterate, and you'll hear this throughout this um, presentation, that this is, again, not a panacea. Um, it's one thing that we can do. There are other things we need to be doing, too. We need to continue with our business development. We need to continue with our housing a development. We need to continue with our workforce development, continue with uh, making our main streets more, uh, more walkable. Um, and so all of those things in combination, in concert, I think will lead to a good outcome. So um, I think I'm about up on my seven minutes. So I'm going to introduce uh, uh, Nate Aldrich. Nate is the uh, Chautauqua County uh, Economic Development Coordinator, and he's also the manager of the Partnership for Economic Growth. Nate? Thank you, Mark. So as Mark just noted, a lot of work went into setting the stage for this campaign. Uh, and I'll try to quickly outline additional steps uh, that got us to where we are today. Uh, so discussion started in, uh, let me advance, um, late 2019, early 2020 when we were developing our countywide economic development strategy. Uh, and this campaign is specifically called out as a priority in that plan. Uh, you know, talent attraction retention was a clear gap identified by our workforce readiness and development work group early on. And as we planned the campaign, it was clear we not only need, needed resources for the professional marketing support to design the campaign, we needed uh, resources to sustain and implement it for at least three years. Uh, we were fortunate in 2021 to receive funding via the Partnership for Economic Growth uh, from the county's ARPA allocation. In addition to that, we received a multi-year grant from the Ralph Wilson Foundation. Along with resources from the CCIDA, uh, those two grant sources enabled us to move this forward. So we really wanna thank the, uh, the county, uh, County Executive Wendell's leadership as well as the legislature for approving that funding, which I'll note is also supporting a multitude of other projects being initiate, initiated and supported by the partnership. Also want to thank uh, you know, Katie Geis, Dan DeMart, Todd Tranum, and others, and several other of you in this room uh, for being early advocates and supporters, as well as our partnership advisory board who offered valuable feedback and support for the initiative. Uh, so Rob Latest is here from uh, Invest Buffalo Niagara, uh, who is leading the Be in Buffalo campaign. Uh, the CCIDA partners closely with Invest Buffalo Niagara, uh, which is a privately funded nonprofit economic development, economic development organization representing the eight counties of Western New York. And their mission, uh, you know, they attract new employers to the region and work closely with the local economic development organizations on business support, attraction, expansion, et cetera. So we won't go into a lot of detail, but I encourage you to also check out the award-winning Be in Buffalo campaign, which is already paying dividends and attracting talent to the Buffalo area primarily. Uh, while Be in Buffalo serves the greater Buffalo Niagara region, in the eight counties they serve, uh, we saw the need to really develop a campaign, companion campaign specific to Chautauqua County and our assets. So we work closely with Rob and his colleagues at Invest Buffalo and Agra. Uh, we, as Mark said, we went up there and, and met with them several times to uh, get their input, success stories, what was working, what wasn't working, and with their support, we developed a request for proposals for marketing and website support and work with them to outline what our campaign might look like, again, based on their experiences and success stories. 
Uh, we'll continue to part with that, partner with them closely going forward, and there are clearly synergies between the two campaigns. In the fall of 2022, we issued that RFP, which was both for the launch of the talent attraction retention campaign and, as Mark outlined, the new websites. We received more than 20 proposals. I actually think it was 25. And after an exhaustive review and interview process, we selected Block Club and Clever Method, as Mark mentioned. Uh, so Block Club, we should note, was the firm engaged by Invest Buffalo Niagara for the Be in Buffalo campaign. They already had a familiarity with the region and uh, obviously success with creating that uh, Be in Buffalo campaign, specifically on the talent attraction retention marketing side. Real quickly, just want to mention um, one of the things we really insisted on when we brought Block Club on was uh, that they come to the county and see firsthand, uh, engage with our partners and see our assets in person as part of their discovery phase of the, this process. And we want to thank um, several folks, inclu including Ellen DeTanto, who's in the audience, for tagging along with us that day. We quite uh, covered quite a bit of ground on that FAM tour. Also note that several stakeholder interviews were part of that discovery process. So in terms of the results of that process, key audiences including young families, active adults, professionals with a passion for outdoor recreation, and cultural and community experiences uh, who currently reside outside the Chautauqua County were identified. County residents, I should note, are a um, secondary target audience in terms of retention and alignment to our efforts to build community pride and really overcome what we call that inferiority complex that we tend to have. So key themes include positioning the county as an outdoor recreation hub, promoting the county's affordable cost of living, showcasing our cultural assets, and emphasizing economic opportunity. And thanks for the, uh, <laughs> I, I missed the uh, transitions there. Uh, so the digital campaign assets uh, include uh, several iterations of a logo, which I might add, uh, based on a lot of input from our committee and key stakeholders, uh, we went through a process to try to get everybody on the same page and um, a lot of input went into that as well as di digital ads in a campaign video that Jason will share shortly. So just briefly, and Mark alluded to this, um, complementary to the Live CHQ brand, we also brought our economic development entities under one unified brand umbrella Choose CHQ, which now acts as the business development, business attraction side of the house and complements nicely with Live CHQ, which showcases our community assets, quality of life, et cetera. And then fast forward to just last month, we did a soft launch of the newly integrated websites for both Live CHQ and Choose CHQ which Jason will also preview for us. And then finally, before I pass, pass it back to Jason, and Mark already mentioned this and we'll reiterate it, but this campaign is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. And we encourage you all to learn more about the County Partnership for Economic Growth, what other projects and initiatives we're leading and supporting, all of which play a role in, in uh, developing our county, moving it forward. So with that, we're pleased to present Live CHQ, and I'm pleased to pass the baton back to Jason Sample. Thanks, Nate. Uh, well, I'll give you some details about the marketing effort. You know, we're, we're right at that point now. You know, obviously they brought you to the steps that we took to get to this point, but now we are at the point of launching Live CHQ to the masses, and we'll give you some insight into our advertising efforts, and we'll begin with the promotional video. I think you all saw the promotional video already, but if not, we're going to share that again to uh, help gear things up. This video, by the way, is a two-minute version. We also have a one-minute version 
a 30 second version and even a 10 second version because we know people's attention spans are short on social media. So there's a various uh, iterations of this video and we hope to launch another version of the video uh, in year two of the campaign. But for the time being, this is the, uh, the hero video that you probably have seen already, but we're gonna show it to you again to remind you what the campaign is all about. Go ahead, Ed. What is life like in Chautauqua County, home to beaches and breweries, historic sites and renowned museums? Small town vibes mingle with a vibrant, world-class culture in Chautauqua County, New York, where your nine to five is bookended by stories set in sprawling state parks. And the bright lights of a life well lived aren't at the intersection of hustle and bustle, they're in your own backyard where your weekend comes alive in local vineyards for business or pleasure or both. Where a vibrant cultural community invites you to sit front row, take center stage, share ideas, or join the conversations that mean the most to you. Miles of excitement abound and even more opportunities await in Chautauqua County, where your day-to-day -day is free to form and far from average. Where living the high life meets a low cost of living as your dollar goes further and your roots grow deeper. Where your peace of mind isn't short-lived, it's a sure thing because life is better when it's balanced. Of course, there's more to Chautauqua County than its small town charm. There are also plenty of big time opportunities. Here you have the freedom to choose your own path forward. Whether you're building a business or kickstarting your career, whether you're settling down or saddling up, whether you're raising a family or finding a house to call your home. Are you ready to start your next chapter? Choose an adventure where every step you take is straight toward the life you love, in your own time and at your own speed. Choose Chautauqua County, where you're not just turning the page, you're telling a story all your own. Start your journey today at livechq.org. What is life like in Chautauqua County? Home Thanks, Ed. I'll give you a second to get us set back up here. Oh, great, we're set up already. Perfect. Uh, so that was just uh, one key component, right? And I really want to acknowledge that was produced by Black Club, but the videos were shot by numerous videographers that we contracted with over the past year and a half to two years. My predecessor, Jason Tozlowski, really did a great job in trying to identify and work with the uh, CPEG team and the IDA team and identifying uh, different uh, places, attractions, and uh, things that make Chautauqua County such a great place to live, and I think they captured it beautifully uh, with that video effort, and then that was the pulling together of all of those assets by Black Club to produce uh, this great video that they put together. So that's just uh, one piece of marketing that we're going to be utilizing and leveraging uh, through obviously uh, streaming online as well as probably buying some advertisements in other regions close to Chautauqua County such as Cleveland and uh, Pittsburgh and things along those lines. But there's more obviously, it doesn't just begin and end with a, a video. Uh, we wanted to create a digital ad campaign that also draws people in on social media platforms and we wanted to sort of develop a, a choose your own adventure if you will with a Chautauqua twist. So the ad campaign that we're going to do is going to focus on four main elements, one of which will be outdoor recreation. This is just one example of the ad we'll be doing on uh, digital platforms. Choose your own adventure um, is a theme that you'll see for a lot of the outdoor recreational activities that you can do in Chautauqua County that we hope to draw people in to learn more about Live CHQ by visiting our website and learning about all the outdoor recreation uh, activities there. Uh, there's also affordable cost of living. And we actually have a cost of living calculator on the website I'll show you in a moment, uh, which is really a valuable instrument in showing just how far your dollar goes in Chautauqua County compared to other areas uh, across the US. You can compare Chautauqua County's cost of living to every other county in the United States through this dashboard I'll show you in a second if you haven't already seen it. Uh, we'll also have uh, culture and entertainment 
uh, abundance of it here in Chautauqua County, and we'll be highlighting that in our advertising as well. Uh, here's one example of an ad of focusing on, I think that's Bonnie Raitt when she performed at Chautauqua Institution, but we all know there's innumerable things, uh, entertainment and culture activities happening in our county. And then finally, just the economic opportunity. We want to make sure that we can uh, say that um, in Chautauqua County, you can do business and there's opportunities to do business in Chautauqua County or to move here and find the occupation and the job that's right for you. Those are, are the four main focuses of our digital ad campaign. They also tie in great with the website. Uh, as I noted, I'll give you a walkthrough of the website here in just a moment, but basically there's three main components we focus on on the livechq.org side of our websites. Uh, living in Chautauqua County, whether it be uh, living as a, a place or a community, a region in the county, or whether it be uh, the outdoor activity and recreation that we talked about a moment ago. Uh, also, work will be another focus of the LiveCHQ website that we'll be doing with this marketing effort. Uh, again, talking about uh, whether looking for the next opportunity or learning a new job skill, uh, there's, there's something happening in Chautauqua County that's right up your alley. Uh, we'll also be focusing on community, and not community in the sense of communities that uh, we think physically, but the sense of community of the people we surround ourselves with. There's a really uh, uh, diverse uh, communities in Chautauqua County uh, when you really think about it, and we want to make sure we focus on that through uh, different aspects. Um, and then, as Nate talked about, we also have the Choose CHQ side of things, and I'll give you a walkthrough right now before Monica comes up here and talks about how you all can help out. But we really want to highlight a few things. Uh, I could spend probably the next four hours talking about this website. I probably can do it without showing you anything because I spent so much time uh, working on developing it. But we'll just highlight a few things here, and, and one of which is Choose CHQ will begin with that. This is obviously like Nate and Mark indicated, the business side of Chautauqua County. If you want to start a business and you need assistance, uh, this could be your first place to go to. One of the first resources um, a business will have if they want to expand or move and relocate to Chautauqua County is choose Chautauqua County because it has the IDA, it has the Chautauqua County Partnership for Economic Growth, it has the Chautauqua uh, Region Economic Development Corporation, and even CRC, which sees activity from time to time. But we really offer a lot of different information, um, whether it be you want to keep an eye on what projects we're doing or why should you do business in Chautauqua County. All of it is available on this website including details about what makes Chautauqua County a worthwhile place to do business. We have a map here that shows proximity to major locations. We want to mention that we are a climate refuge, as has been indicated in national press. Western New York is one of the few safe climate places. Uh, they say in the next 50 years, Chautauqua County means that when you uh, invest here and do business here, uh, your business won't be going anywhere. Ideal location as well. And then we also have a demographic dashboard that Camoyne Associates helped us put together, one of three dashboards on the site that provides a lot of information, and you can obviously zoom in so you can read the fine print and uh, get details about the key demographic information. Uh, there's a lot of information on Choose CHQ. I encourage you all to visit and learn all about it, um, but obviously we're here to talk about Live CHQ, which is the uh, talent attraction and retention effort that we've launched. This website was developed by uh, not only taking content that already existed through the relocation guide, but also a lot of content through the assistance of the Visitors Bureau and even contracting with our own Joni Blackman from here in the county to help us uh, write some of the content for uh, these pages. And obviously a lot of the imagery you'll recognize as great marketing material, again, from our friends from the Visitors Bureau that helped us really draw the point home that there's a lot of great things happening in the county. The video, of course, in the background of the homepage was done by Black Club. Uh, the site itself was, again, designed by Clever Method, but we have our main landing page here where if you scroll down, there's different areas you can go to. Uh, we even have a blog where we'll be providing all kinds of information, uh, videos, assets, things of that nature. It'll be continuously updated. My goal is to try to have at least three or four different blog items on a monthly basis added to our website, whether it be highlighting an attraction or doing a deeper dive on a profile or an activity that you can do in Chautauqua County. Uh, the life page that we talked about, life well located, uh, this provides you all the details about the proximity of Chautauqua County to different areas. So even if uh, you get tired of the small town, town charm that Chautauqua County has, it's only an hour away to go to Buffalo or not even an hour to go to Erie, um, and, and Cleveland isn't that far, or Pittsburgh isn't that far either. So we have a great location, we wanted to hammer that point home. We offer some great demographic information here along this side, but we also offer an overview 
of the communities in Chautauqua County. But obviously, it's hard to identify 28 municipalities, county executive, I, I don't know. It's hard to really keep track of the, the cities, the townships, the villages, et cetera. We want to do more of a broader overview and identify the key locations. So these are split up by regions of the county, and there really isn't a region map that currently exists, so we sort of developed one in-house that kind of highlights the key regions of the county, whether it be the, uh, the region such as the greater Jamestown region or the greater Dunkirk region or the Lakeshore region, Chautauqua Lake region, obviously around Chautauqua Lake. We have uh, the northern region, which is basically everything north of Sinclairville except for the, the Lakeshore region. There's the eastern region and of course the southern region. Are there more regions of the county? Probably. This is something that uh, we pulled together just brainstorming and trying to keep it as um, general as possible by still providing a nice profile of each region. So you'll see as you scroll down that we do provide information. Again, Joni helped us with a lot of this content, identifying the key uh, locations, whether they be official villages or even community hubs located in each of the regions. And again, some really great photography as well that highlights what uh, living in Chautauqua County is and where you can live, which is a valuable asset. Say if you're a Cummins engine plant and you're trying to recruit an engineer uh, from outside of Chautauqua County and they say, well, where can I live in Chautauqua County or what, what's the uh, different communities you have? You can steer them to this page and say, you know, there's LiveCHQ, they have a great community profile that provide you a lot of uh, key information about the different regions in our county. Uh, we also have a, a work page that provides a lot of employment and business uh, information, including uh, employment opportunities. We have links to our different partners in Chautauqua County uh, who work to develop business or help people with job skill development or also just looking for a job. All of those uh, organizations and agencies are available on here. So again, if somebody is looking for their next big move when it comes to a career uh, decision, uh, this will help them at least provide an overview of different resources available to them. Uh, the, the one thing I wanted to note that I mentioned that I didn't highlight on the live page was our cost of living calculator. And I, I can't um, share with you enough how valuable this information is. It was put together again by Camoyne Associates. Again, you can zoom in. And basically, this shares with you what a dollar in Chautauqua County will get you, or what $2.85 will get you uh, for a dollar in Chautauqua County. So we have it ranked by uh, obviously the highest cost of living compared to Chautauqua County in the country. So you see the uh, uh, usual suspects here, New York, San Francisco, uh, Los Angeles. But you can go down and find every single county. You can sort by state, you can sort by county name, or you can simply search for the county you live in. So if you're from uh, uh, Monanga, Gila County, West Virginia, um, you can compare that to Chautauqua County. And you'll find that by and large, Chautauqua County has a higher cost of living, or rather a lower cost of living. Your dollar goes further than a lot of these other ones associated on this dashboard. But it's a cool uh, feature of this website that I get lost in just trying to compare all these different areas of the United States that you can compare directly to Chautauqua County. And it really helps to drive the point home. Like, sure, we might not be able to offer a $150,000 job in Chautauqua County that you might find in New York City, but by the way, uh, that $100,000 job will get you a lot further than the $150,000 job in New York City because of that cost of living calculation provided on this website. Um, I wanted to make sure we pointed that out before I, I lost track. Uh, again, the workforce page is great. It also provides uh, uh, all the different partners that we work with, whether it be Dream It, Do It, Western New York, the Small Business Development Center, uh, BOCES, you name it, it's featured on here. And then I mentioned community as well, where we offer you know, a lot of uh, details about the community that you can find in Chautauqua County, and not just um, choosing your own thrills and the different groups that you can get involved with, but also the people who make our county such a special place. So we're gonna do an ongoing feature. We're gonna to try to roll out one or two of these a month of people profiles. We're gonna to try to feature a lot of people who aren't from Chautauqua County, uh, but moved here and decided to stay here because we really wanna highlight that relocation aspect of uh, LiveCHQ. So you'll see a lot of people on here, maybe some familiar faces of people who uh, weren't originally from Chautauqua County, but decided to move here. 
Um, even uh, Kurt Young, who came all the way from uh, Western United States to the Western New York State is the headline here. And each of these is a unique profile identifying uh, the people within Chautauqua County. And this isn't a static page. This is something that we're going to continue to add to. I've already got about four or five of these profiles that need to be written up um, to continually add it to this website and featuring them on social media. And again, having that anecdotal information from individuals about what makes Chautauqua County so special. And then we have a blog page, like I said, obviously the site launched a week and a half ago. Uh, so there's not a lot of blog information here, but two examples is we're excited to launch LiveCHQ, and then we did have uh, somebody write about camping at the Gorge, and we have that featured on here as well. But again, we'll also highlight attractions uh, on this page, we'll highlight activities you can do, and we'll encourage uh, contributors from our various stakeholders and partners as well as uh, in-house uh, information we'll be adding. Um, that's, that's the walkthrough for the website. Obviously, this is where all the digital advertising and marketing is going to steer toward. Any suggestions you have on how to improve this site, please feel free to add them because this isn't going to be a static site. This is going to be something that's going to continuously evolve and grow as we continue through the three years of this campaign effort. With that being said, I think my time is up and I know that Monica is chomping at the bit to get up here to talk about how you can also leverage LiveCHQ. Uh, for your own purposes. So, Monica, it's all yours. Thank you. So we talked about the past, the present, now you're part of our future. Um, so, as he showed you, like the Live CHQ, we'd like to, if you wouldn't mind, like adding this to your email signature, adding the video, especially if you're in HR or you're reaching out to people, share our video. We have a Live CHQ Facebook page. We have lots of social media that we're setting up. We'd like everyone here to be our brand ambassador. Um, share this positive content. I don't know, there's so much negative news out there. We want to be the positive people in our community. Something we have been working on um, is reaching out to HR managers within the county. Um, if we haven't connected with yours, I have a letter out there that has a QR code to a seven question questionnaire just so we can get involved with them, ask them what are their needs as far as like how many people do you hire. I had no idea the Chautauqua Institution actually hires 1,600 people a year. So we're learning this kind of information. How can we fill in the gaps? How can we make our website better? And also another initiative I've been working on with the Chautauqua County Chamber of Commerce is recruitment baskets. So say uh, you either have like the top three candidates or the person who actually gets to move here. We have two different options, a $50 and a $100 basket option. So it's everything Chautauqua, um, Chautauqua County. So right now we have Basari seasoning in there. We have some local treats. We have some Southern Tier beer. We have some 21 Bricks wine. We're going to make different kinds of these, but this is like the first um, beta testing our, our, uh, our idea. And actually those are Live CHQ buckets. They're collapsible buckets. So we're hoping to see with these people that are involved in outdoor recreation using those buckets out in the community. I know my kids love them so far. And also something else we're working on is a workforce ambassador program. So we want to have so you have a new recruit or someone that's coming to the area, um, connect them with someone. Maybe they're an empty nester. Maybe they're uh, a family with young kids or they like their dog. So we'll connect them with someone so they can connect to our community and feel a part of our community. And like they mentioned, uh, we actually have working have been working with a town attraction retention steering committee for over six months. We meet monthly. We have some new members. A couple of our members are here today. We have Ellen DeTanto. We have Brian Pender. Stephanie Nick is here as well. Is Scott here? No. Yeah, there he is. Okay, in the back. Scott Shelters as well. And so we have a lot of representation. So we meet every month and we talk about what's the future. We ran all the designs past this group. So they've really been interactive with us and we appreciate their time or they're going to continue to meet with us. But, you know, this is on you. We want you to help us um, get the message out there. Tell it, tell what a great story there is in Chautauqua County. So that's it. Oh, and now I will introduce uh, County Executive Wendell. Awesome. Thank you, Mary. Let's put our hands together for this team. What an amazing job. I can't say enough about it. Now, what I'm got up here to do is they said be the cheerleader. And let me tell you what, being the county executive, this is the best job I have. So to reiterate one of Jason's questions, 27 towns, 13 villages, two cities, and be thanks to Justin in a trivia game, eight hamlets here in Chautauqua County. So I get to be the ambassador for this county. Interestingly enough, in my travels most recently, I was with somebody from the state of Washington, and we were having a discussion with other county leaders, and he said, Chautauqua County, he goes, is that the Chautauqua Institution? I've been there, I love the place. 
Somebody from the state of Washington remembers Chautauqua Institution. Speaking with Senator Borello, just had a sit down with Governor Abbott at an event last week or two weeks ago. And Governor Abbott said, oh, Chautauqua, Chautauqua Institution, right? He goes, yeah, been there. I have a great friend who lives there and he visits often. People come to Chautauqua County, I don't want to say to hide, but they come to escape and they come to get here to relax and to recreate and enjoy themselves where they can get away from the hustle and bustle of the big metropolitan areas and relax right here in this community. Can't say enough about it. I was talking most recently with Brian Pender, and Brian said, you know, county executive, there's about six families, maybe as many as 10. We get together quite often. We've all chose Chautauqua County. We come here, we've lived. Significant jobs, okay? People that are coming back here and choosing to live in Chautauqua County. What a better place. The weather moves from east to west in Chautauqua County. We've been told for decades population decline is eminent in Chautauqua County. Well, guess where they're seeing it? New York City, 78,000 people. Long Island, Suffolk, and Nassau finally said, we are seeing population decline. Well, guess what? The weather moves from east to west in New York State, and the change is going to start here in Chautauqua County, and the change is going to move east to west. We are going to see a revitalization here in Chautauqua County. I feel it. Perpetual optimism is a force multiplier, quoted by Colin Powell. That has been my new position, my new motto as we move forward. Perpetual optimism. We could say, as Monica said, we can look at media and say how negative things people are, things are. That's not happening. That will not happen with me. I encourage our stakeholders, please get out and embrace this. Everyone get out and embrace this. When you're talking to your friends, when you're visiting other areas, show what's happening. When this was being rolled out, I had a meeting with Journey Gunderson and some of the board members at the, um, the uh, Comedy Center. Um, and I spoke with their PR guy and said, wow, you know what? They got 15 second videos. Can't tell you what to do, but really would be nice if we can show one of those videos on those two large screens right out in front of the Comedy Center. Not only when people come to see an award-winning attraction such as a Comedy Center, but now you can see why you want to come to Chautauqua County, why you want to stay in Chautauqua County. This effort, I can't say enough about. As Monica said, we're moving the needle. We have always been told, and I've been told as county executive, what are you doing about the population loss? This is it. We've gotten off our backside, we've started to engage, and we are starting to move the needle and bring people back to Chautauqua County. Is it gonna be easy? Maybe not. But it isn't something we're not gonna roll up our sleeves and get engaged with and start to do. When you look at the institution, it, it is so amazing to talk about things. When people were here with the, from the, for the eclipse, rather, they said, wow, Chautauqua County, I didn't really realize you have everything, you know, what you have here. I said, do you realize the home birthplace of Lucia Ball? Huh? No, we had no idea. Did you go down and see the Comedy Center? What Comedy Center? We see these things, and now we're starting to put our, our brand together, working with the Visitors Bureau. I can't say enough about how excited I am, one, about this project, but two, about being the ambassador for Chautauqua County. I know I'm sitting here with Greg Edwards. He had the same position as, as I have, and I'm sure he felt the same thing. We are here to sing the praises of Chautauqua County. My job is the best job in the world because I get to sing and tell everybody how great Chautauqua County is, and it's not going to stop. So on behalf of myself, I encourage all of our stakeholders, please embrace this, spread the word, spread the message. Let's get the message out. Let's get people here to Chautauqua County. People came. I sat and talked to people when I was at the Eclipse at the airport on Monday morning. And there was a family from uh, the Lehigh Valley in Pennsylvania, another family from down in Pittsburgh. There was another family who was, uh, again, from southern Pittsburgh and said, yeah, we were the ones that came in here and ironically our wheel blew on the taxiway and, and on the runway. Instead of having an, uh, a catastrophe, they landed safely. But they were here to see just exactly what Chautauqua County is all about. So on behalf of myself and the residents, I'm excited about what this group has to offer and excited about Live Key CHQ and Choose CHQ. Thank you. Thank you, County Executive Wendell. And uh, that's going to conclude our presentation, but as an incentive for you to get out and spread the good word about Live CHQ, we have cookies. <laughs> so I'll grab uh, a cookie. There's, there's plenty for everybody, so you can even grab two. I know I will. And uh, feel free to stick around and ask any follow-up questions. I know our friends from the media are here. If you have any follow-up questions based on our presentation, you're welcome to. Or if you're a stakeholder that wants to get more details, we're going to be all mingling around here, and we'll be happy to share any information afterward. Uh, we felt it would be better. I know some of you have a tight schedule to answer questions one-on-one -on -one out in the hallway. So if you do have questions, track one of us down, and we'll do our best to help you out.
And uh, thank you all for coming. And again, spread the good word about Live City HQ. Grab a decal, grab a cookie, grab and grab a pen. A pen. Yes. And we have plenty more swag on the way as well with a lot of events we'll be working with in the coming uh, weeks and months and even years that lie ahead. Thanks. We're going to get a group photo really.